history. November 14th. In 1889, pioneering reporter Nellie Bly set off on a record-breaking trip around the world, completing the journey in 72 days. On this day in 1972, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above 1,000 for the first time. In 2002, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi became minority leader in the House of Representatives, the first woman to head a political party in Congress. And on this day in 1851, Herman Melville's novel, Moby Dick, was first published. Initial sales floundered. You could say critics harpooned the book as being too long and too dull. But in the 1920s, readers discovered Melville's use of literary symbolism, and his whale of a tale became one of the great novels of all time. And that's this story. In this is Franciscan Media Saint of the Day for November 14th. Today we celebrate Saint Gertrude the Great. Born in Saxony around the middle of the 13th century, today's saint is considered one of the three greatest female spiritual writers in church history. From an early age, Gertrude lived and was educated at the monastery school at Hefta and eventually became a Benedictine nun. Along with her friend and teacher, St. Mechtilde, she practiced a spirituality called nuptial mysticism, seeing herself as a bride of Christ. A pioneer in devotion to the Sacred Heart, her spiritual life was a deeply personal union with Jesus that led her into the very life of the Blessed Trinity. As a Benedictine, Gertrude found Christ through living the rhythm of the liturgy, there and in scripture, she found themes and images that both enriched and expressed her piety. The life and revelations of St. Gertrude, a record of her mystical experiences, has been compared with the writings of St. Teresa of Avila. Gertrude died in 1302. Though never formally canonized, her feast was extended to the Universal Church in 1738 by Pope Clement XII. There's our verse today from the first book of John. And this is the boldness we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the requests made of him. Bible trivia. Yesterday's question was, what did Rachel Jacob's wife steal from her father's household when she left to go to Canaan? Answer was the family idols. Today's question when Aaron threw his rod down before the Pharaoh, what did it change into? And, had, with, and the joke of the day, what do you call a fish with no eye? And happy birthday today to Lily. Everybody have a great day.